Welcome back to Element 14 Presents. I'm Clem and today we're featuring a project from the Element 14 community. One of our community members, Wesley Gardner, has built a gigantic working Raspberry Pi. Want to see how I did it? Let's get started. Amazing hacks. Inspired designs. Each week, Element 14 Presents brings you innovative projects using electronics, engineering, and more. What's going on everyone? Today we are taking the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and turning it into a massive Raspberry Pi. Now originally what I wanted was a big unit that all the ports, everything was working and it was just basically piggybacking off the 3B Plus. But after playing around with it and getting some of my prints done a little bit more planning might need to go into it to get everything working. But for starting off, I will definitely get the GPIO working on it. A lot of my prints for this unit will be where I can actually separate them and be able to create my custom ports, uh, wiring, everything that I need to get this working. I'm trying to find a suitable material uh, to be able to do this might be a little tricky but uh, I'm gonna have to play around with it a bit to find the right product to use as the pins. I have a few ideas for this but my main focus is the GPIO because I think that one's gonna take the longest to complete just because uh, it's gonna be more wiring it up as well as um, creating those custom header pins for the GPIO. I'm gonna take this guy here and make it, I do believe, 20 by 32 inches. And from there, we'll get it all cleaned up, get all the components printed out, get paint on it, get uh, everything going. So make sure to check out the description below. Uh, I'll post the links to element14.com uh, where my blog post will be and you can go through a lot more in depth. Uh, this is going to be a fun project and I can't wait to get started. So without further ado, let's get CNCing. we have the CNC machining part done we need to go ahead and get this cleaned up so we can get some paint on it and then get the printed parts and then finally getting it up on the wall now we've got the cleanup of the pie massive completed now we can go ahead and get the 3d printed parts completely dealt with and then start getting them on the board. We've got more printing right now. Uh, the GPIO pins are just finishing up. And then we can get on to cleaning up all those 3D parts and get those painted and get those on the Pi Massive. I've got all my parts here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get this all put together get the USB ports all looking good. I do have a little bit of cleanup uh, to go on this guy here. These are gonna be cut in half and then used as the pins for the GPIO. Then we'll get those guys actually working once they're on the board. Originally what I was gonna use is uh, some rod here, some square rod. Uh, but finding the right size, uh, everything around me is not in metric. So I, I had a heck of a time trying to find something that was close to, but nothing was the six millimeters that I needed. So I ended up having to print my own. And trust me, I tried a bunch of different rods and nothing was doing the trick. Either too small, too big, nothing the right size. And I really didn't want to get away from keeping it as much to scale as I possibly could. I know a couple of the parts uh, are not 100% to scale, but pretty darn close. 
I definitely thought I could get more of the components working, but due to the time frame, I'm just going to be getting the GPIO working, uh, which I think will be kind of cool. As you can see, here's the uh, display port here uh, or the camera module. We got the Wi-Fi module here. Uh, it turned out really well. I'm quite happy with that. And then once I get some of the, the screws that I want, I'm going to have to shape them for my tips or on the GPIO. So that way I can run that down through. And with the hole through there, it's a uh, four millimeter hole on the inside. It's six millimeters squared. And that will give me the amount of room I need to feed my wires through them, as well as be able to mount the screw on top uh, without really doing too much damage. So I need to get get these sanded, painted, and then installed into the GPIO. But the GPIO, once again, is in four sections, so I need to get that put together as well. Anyways, that's enough rambling I'm gonna get to doing. So yeah, here we go. Do you like free stuff? You can join the Road Test program. You can get free dev kits, test equipment, and even online training courses. In exchange for a detailed review, join our Road Test program. Learn more at the link below. Ah, free stuff? Okay, so we're really close to being complete the Pi Massive here. Um, I didn't realize how long everything would take. I really need to get my write-ups going. So for now, I'm just gonna get the three and the five volt and the ground working on the GPIO. Uh, that way I got something I can play with and just to make sure it works and kind of monitor that and see if they're if the method I used for making my GPIO is sufficient. Another thing is I had uh, a few parts that I thought I had printed enough of to go onto the board. I didn't. <sighs> So I will be posting a few follow-up pictures with a couple more components added. It's just a couple capacitors and a few other little components that uh, I missed uh, in my first and second attempt at getting them all printed. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, load up the SD card for the Raspberry Pi. I've got the battery pack installed, the GPIO breakout board uh, installed, and I have the GPIO wired to that for the moment. I did even print up uh, for the, the screw holes uh, some caps for the screw holes, so that way when the LED light is on, you're not gonna be seeing as much as that come through there and it'll be more of a back light. There's a couple of other holes on the board that uh, will also have to be, the solder joints for the USB and ethernet will also have to be filled in. And I'll use my, my wonderful 3D uh, printing or 3D pen uh, and just do that in. Uh, just a silver um, flake uh, pen to uh, touch that up and give it the same coloring as all the other silver components on the board. I can SSH into it and run a few things, uh, but for the most part, it'll just be uh, an art piece, but uh, the option to be able to use it uh, will be there because it does have the Pi 3 uh, B Plus connected to it, as well as the battery power pack. So that's gonna be the main thing, to have it on the wall and completely wireless, but still having the functionality there. I may upgrade the battery to something a lot bigger since I do have the room for it on the back there. Um, maybe two or three laptop batteries. The French cleat that I am using on the wall there will hold a ton of weight. So as is, this thing is really heavy and I will actually get an actual total weight of this unit here. Make sure to check out my blog posts on element14.com. Uh, and you'll find more information on each step and a lot more photos. And hey, if you think there's something I could do differently, 
let me know. I wouldn't mind uh, some input, uh, but uh, for now, yeah, it's a great looking little wall piece. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, journey with me because it's been a ton of fun. So I have it all set up now. I have uh, Raspbian installed on it with the VNC on it so that way I can remote into it. No wires as you can see. Uh, that was my main concern just having something that looked really great up there that uh, could uh, do the trick and uh, be a Raspberry Pi. And a massive one uh, who wouldn't want a Raspberry Pi that big hanging on their wall and working. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh? Well, that was pretty cool, but what should you do next? Want to talk to Wes about his project? Have you seen a project on the community you would like to see featured here? Let us know in the comments at the link in the description. So what are you waiting for? Go to the Element 14 community, I'll see you there. And I gotta go, there's another project waiting for me.